Today we're checking out the UCX2401 from UDIRC. This one isn't licensed, it's based on a power wagon. Uh, this one actually says it's 24th scale. They also do a fully licensed Suzuki Jimny as well. This one says it's 18th scale, but obviously Jimnys are tiny little cars. I've done a separate review of this one already on my channel, so if you're interested in checking out the Jimny, I'll put a link in the description to that, or check out my reviews playlist. So this one is available in three different colours. You've got the green, the yellow, or the orange. Looks like we've got the green. If we just spin it around, we can look at some of the specs. So you can see it's got full metal bearings, it's got metal links, it's got a metal chassis, you've got oil-filled shocks and everything. It says you've got like a three-speed gearbox and everything on there as well. So yeah, interesting spec, especially for the price, which is like, I think you can pick these up for somewhere between like $75 to $90, depending on where you get them from. But let's get it open, and then we can have a little look and see what we're playing with. So you've got a bag of goodies, we'll check those out in a minute. Let's get everything out. So we got our transmitter by the looks of it, we'll get that out in a second. And then this should be the actual RC itself. Let's just get that tape out of the way. Nicely packaged. Get this thing out and have a look at it, see what we got. Wow, that thing is absolutely tiny. Look at it, it's definitely more like a 24th scale. That's a very small 24th scale. Yeah, so oil-filled shocks. So should have some decent suspension. Actually looks like a nice bit of movement there on the shocks as well. So you've got a, you've got a hard body, uh, so that's really cool. You know, it's actually a fairly decent looking hard body to be fair. You know, you've got scale details on there, you've got mirrors, you've got your snorkel, your nice front grille, you've got your lights door handles and everything on there. Shame that it hasn't got an actual proper rear bed. It's just this kind of like piece here. You can see on this, you've got a big old steering link. Uh, obviously the axle and everything's quite low to the ground. So, you know, ground clearance is probably gonna be a bit of an issue with this. Uh, I did find the same with the Jimny, to be honest, that, you know, with it being so small, uh, but you know, obviously it is a very small scale. Uh, it did say on the box metal suspension links, but they very much look like plastic to me. It looks like we got plastic lower links. We got plastic upper links. It is a four link on the front and the rear. Plastic axles, plastic drive shafts. Again, you know, the kind of thing you'd expect, to be honest, for like little 24 scales. You know, you get the same on like an SCX24 or, you know, an FCX24, anything like that. They're all going to be plastic at the end of the day to keep costs down. Wheels and tyres, you've got some nice shiny wheels there. There's no foams in there. Uh, it's not glued or anything, so you could change the tyres if you wanted to. Uh, they're not beadlock wheels, but, you know, again, you could upgrade to some different wheels and tyres. Generally, it's the first thing everyone's going to do on a rig, to be quite honest. So for the body, it's got this kind of quick release system. So basically what you should have to do, I believe, is just pull it out. And then we should, should be able to then get the body off. It's not the easiest thing. It's definitely easier on the Jimny than it is on this one. So you can see there's the inside of the body. It looks like we've got LED lights on the front, but no other LED lights. So underneath we've got a 130 sized motor, we've got that gearbox with a shift servo for obviously where it says it's a three speed. Now I believe it's anything like the Jimny, it'll actually only be a two speed, but again we'll give it a try. We've got that all-in-one ESC and receiver which can handle a 2S LiPo battery. And then if we just pop the battery out from here, which they've conveniently... <laughs> Okay, somebody went a bit of a boo-boo in the factory there. They've zip-tied the battery to the rest of the cable. So how are you meant to charge that? You're not going to charge it attached to the RCAU. So yeah, bit of a mistake there on somebody. They should have just put the zip-tie around the rest of it and left the battery removable. But the battery, if we swing it around, obviously we'll chop that off in a minute. But it's a 350 milliamp hour 2S LiPo battery. You can see for the battery mount, it's just this little kind of like rubber band. Uh, not the best, to be honest. I find rubber bands break uh, generally, but, you know, again, keeping costs down. Would have been nice just to have a little Velcro strap or something like that. So we'll get that battery out in a minute. Let's see what else we get in the box. So we've got that transmitter. So let's just pop that out. So that's really a nice little transmitter. Again, exactly the same transmitter that comes with the Jimny. Um, you know, it's a pretty decent transmitter. It is a four channel transmitter. You've got your switch on the side here for your three speed or two speed. Uh, you know, it's nice size in the hand, you know, nice uh, spring on the wheel as well. Nice foam grip. You've got the usual things you'd expect like throttle trim, steering trim. Uh, you've actually got your steering dual rate on this one as well because the ESC and this transmitter do actually support rear wheel steer. It doesn't come with it, but you could add it. You actually have rear wheel steer trim on here as well. And this button here is actually channel three and you push this to turn your lights on and off. So again, we'll check all of that in a moment. 
Let's check out what we get in the bag of goodies. So you get a two amp USB charger, you get your wheel wrench tool and you get some little spring spaces and everything if you wanted to change the uh, tension on the springs. Looks like you get a whole load of stickers. Some of these stickers, again, I found with the gym, they're quite big, to be honest. You've got some more stickers. So this one, you actually get four sticker packs included with it. Then you get your instructions, your operating booklet, and so on as well. So the transmitter itself, if we just slide it open, uh, takes four AAA batteries. So let's get some batteries in there. Let's get the battery plugged in on the rig and see what it's like. So we've got our batteries in our transmitter, so we just switch that on. And then the power switch for the rig itself is just this little push button switch, which if you've got big fingers, is a little bit tricky to get to. Uh, it does say it's a 0.5 kilogram steering servo on this, so, you know, should be a decent bit of power, but it's only got like a 30 degree steering angle, so it's not the most steering, to be quite honest. If you want to turn your lights on, just press channel 3 and your lights come on. Like I said, it's just LED lights on the front. There's no lights on the rear or anything like that. So in terms of drive, we're just in first gear at the moment, so if we just feather the throttle... It's not bad, decent bit of slow speed. Let's go full throttle in first. That's actually got a decent bit of speed. So on the side of the transmitter here, like I said, you've got channel four. Basically, if we're driving, we've got first gear. If we move it forward one position, it's actually neutral. So it's not really a three speed, it's a two speed. Uh, and then if we do it forward again, you hear the server move and that's gonna be second gear. But she's got loads of wheel speed in second gear. I mean, that is crazy fast. And you're gonna be running after that for such a small scale. Let's see what our slow speed control is like. So we're just in first at the moment. So I'm just gonna try and feather the throttle over these tires and let's just see what it's like. It's not bad, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. Okay, let's run the little power wagon on the rock crawler course and just see how it does. Uh, I think obviously with its size, it's probably gonna struggle uh, with some ground clearance and stuff like that. We'll do the hill climb first of all. See what these tyres are like and see how top heavy it is. Nice, I'm going to try and go as slow as I can. It's a decent bit of slow speed control if possible. Oh, we're getting stuck. Okay, let's, uh, most things do get stuck on that ridge, even slightly bigger crawlers, so let's... Oh, almost bend it. Let's see if we can go slightly over to the right. Ah, we have a bit of it. wheel speed. There we go. Oh, struggling for grip a little bit. I think the tyres on the Jimny were definitely better. Jimny did get stuck going through here, so it'd be interesting to see if this gets stuck as well. Mm, that's a bit better. I think this one probably has a little bit more ground clearance than the Jimny. I prefer the Jimny body though. Let's see what it's like coming down here. If it falls over, what that suspension's like. Nice. It's pretty stable to be fair. That was me thinking about where to drove then. Right, straight for the gatekeeper. Let's see if it can get up here without tipping over. Sometimes the slow speed control is a bit of hesitation. You've got to give it a little bit more throttle. Not as bad as some other kind of rigs, but still pretty decent. Nice, made it to the top. Oh, can we get over? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, see, like, you, you kind of like, it stops every now and again when it gets kind of stuck on something, but... Oh, last one. Yay, made it. Let's see what it's like on the up and over. I'd be amazed if it gets up here, to be honest. So I'm gonna think about it. Oh, if we could just get over that first, ah, oh, first rollover. I think if we can get over this rock, it might do it. Ah, oh. struggling. Doesn't quite have the grip or the ground clearance to get over there. <laughs> nah, not gonna end well, is it? See if it can get up here, otherwise I'd be surprised. I think we'll probably get stuck trying to get the first rock. The Jimny, I just jumped over this section, but we'll give the power wagon a chance. Uh, oh, we're up there, but wrong angle. Made it up there. Oh wow, that's actually really good. Where's it? Right, it'll probably fall down here because yeah, because of that. Oh, that was a nice noise, wasn't it? I will give it one more try. We can maybe keep the wheels 
at the right side. Oh yes, go on. Just thinking about it. Oh, it just doesn't quite have enough grip, does it? It's having a good try. Well, this is doing better than the Jimny did. Oh, that's going to end badly. Let's see if we can recover. Well, we managed to save it, but now we're in the hole. Nah, it's going to end badly, isn't it? Okay, let's try the uh, merry-go-round and see if we can get up here. The Jimny couldn't do this section, so it'd be interesting to see if this one can. Let's just move around here a minute. Oh, nice. We can just get the right angle there. We might be able to get up there. Oh, go on. Oh, we're going to get ourselves beached. Oh, go on, go on. You're doing such a good job. Oof. Let's try and go slow, see if we can get up there. Oh, just this size, really, isn't it? It's letting it down there. It's getting it's a little bit too small. It's getting stuck. Oh, I made it. <laughs> well, I'm amazed at that. That actually did a really good job. We're tearing on the edge there. See if we can get up here. Again, I think small scale life is going to get the better of us, but this one definitely is more stable than the Jimny, I would say. Obviously, it's lower body, it's not going to be so top heavy. But yeah, obviously, it's still a very small rig, though, isn't it? That's his major downfall. That was the same thing with the Jimny, to be honest, just so small. We're stuck now. That did a good job to get to there though. To be fair to it, it did a better job on the rocks than I thought it was going to do. I think the tyres on the Jimny were definitely better, uh, but obviously this one isn't quite so top heavy. Uh, I do prefer the look on the Jimny though, but yeah, I was actually quite surprised. That did an alright job, especially for its size. Uh, yeah, it did really well. Okay, so first off, let's try our trail speed first gear. So you can see it's pretty slow in first, let's chuck it in second. You can see it's got plenty of wheel speed in second gear, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit unstable when you're turning in full throttle. Okay, let's do the old route test and see if this one can get up the routes. Now I did just review the Jimny, uh, which is the other version of the UDI little mini RCs. And that one couldn't do the routes, you know, it did struggle a bit more. So be interesting to see if this one's any better. Oh, close. If I could just get the right angle, maybe. Oh, come on. I've got a feeling this one's going to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so close. That was so close. That was ridiculous. Oh, we're getting stuck on that little bit of root sticking out. <laughs> okay, next route. Technically this next one is harder, but you know, sometimes rigs actually do the second route better than they did the first. The Jimny couldn't even pretty much get up here because it was just struggling for ground clearance and front bumper clearance. Yeah, you can see these ones are just very top heavy. As soon as you try to do something like that, it just tips over. Yeah, we're pretty much doing a vertical stand there, look. Yeah, we ain't gonna get up there, are we? No. Okay, well, we tried. Okay, let's see how it does with a little bit of kind of off-roading, but the hill climb. I think these tyres should be better than the ones that come on the Jimny, you know, they kind of like tractor tyres. be interesting to see what they grip like. The Jimny got kind of stuck on this next bit and we had to wheel speed over it, so let's see if this one can just push on up and over. Oh yeah, definitely, look at that, much better. A little bit of hesitation there, just getting grip, but nice slow speed control as well, to be fair. That's cool, I like that. Let's see what the tyre grip's like on these ones as well. We've got a bit of kind of loose, dirty sand here, so 
can be quite hard. Yeah, we're struggling for grip already there. There we go, we got some. See if it can crawl up through this kind of section over here. Every now and again with the slow speed control it kind of hesitates, but for what it is and how small it is, you know, it's actually doing a pretty good job. Struggling for grip there, aren't we? Let's get a bit of wheel speed on the case. Nice. Ah, oh, got stuck on the center point then, didn't we? <laughs> Digging some holes. So we've gone to the beach. We just haven't got a bucket and spade. Let's see if we can go up through there instead. No, I mean, to be fair, it's be hard for any rig to be honest because it's very sandy, but. Thought it's a cool little test for something this small. Okay, let's get a bit of a run up, shall we? Hey, there we go. And then back into the giant leaves, and disappear. I'll get stuck. I think you know, for its size, it's an all right little rig. You know, it's got decent slow speed control. Obviously, you've got two speeds, you've got plenty of wheel speed. I do like the stock suspension movement. You know, it's got a nice bit of dampening on there. You know, its main floor really is it's so small. I mean, uh, you know, it'd be probably great for a little house crawler. Um, but you know, if you want to do any kind of serious trailing, it's really going to struggle just purely because of its size. You know, when you see it, when it was taken on some of those obstacles, it actually wasn't too bad. But, you know, I wouldn't go by and expecting it to be super capable, you know, mainly because of its size, you know, it's got its limitations. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Drop me a comment if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.